A structural component made of 1030 hot rolled steel is found to have a critical stress element with sigma x equal to minus 12 ksi, a sigma y of 15 ksi, and a tau xy of minus 9 ksi. What are the factors of safety using the distortion energy and the maximum shearing stress theories? This is the first example for the yield criteria video, so if you haven't watched that one yet, check the link in the description below. From that main video, we know that the distortion energy factor of safety will be equal to the yield strength over the von Mises stress, so we'll need to calculate the von Mises stress first. From that main video, we also know that the maximum shearing stress is equal to the yield strength over sigma 1 minus sigma 3. So in both cases, we need our principal stresses sigma 1, sigma 2, and sigma 3. With the center of the Mohr circle at 1.5 ksi and a radius of 16.22, we find that the principal stresses are 17.72, minus 14.73, and 0. With these values, the factor of safety for the maximum shearing stress theory is 1.156, the von Mises stress is 28.1 ksi, and therefore the factor of safety for distortion energy is 1.33. This is all we need, but let's take a look at the stress envelope to understand what we just did. The stress envelope for the maximum shearing stress criteria, or TRESCA, has a straight line of slope 1 for quadrants 2 and 4. The 1.16 value is the ratio between the distance from the origin to the boundary line passing through the stress state and the distance from the origin to the stress state. For distortion energy, the only thing that changes is that boundary line. So it makes sense that the factor of safety is higher since our stress state is further away from the boundary line. For another example and yield criteria, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.